Peace YouTube. Let's talk trending hot topics. I'm your host N Lynch. So we're gonna get into this video with Kwame Brown. Um talking a bit about Little Nas X uh at the BET Awards. Um he has a few choice words in the pen, which I totally agree with. We're gonna get into the video, but before we do Make sure y'all smash that like button, you know, um, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all y'all following me on my other channel. I'm trying to get this channel to grow. So um, my goal is to get 1,000 subscribers by August. I know that's a crazy goal. It's a big goal, but it's my goal. And the only way I'm going to get to my goal, if y'all help a brother out and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified every time I upload the latest and greatest. So if y'all already done that, Let's get into this video. So we got Bus Life, um, Kwame Brown. He did a live stream earlier when he was talking a bit about a few things, but the topic of this video, we're gonna be get into what he was saying about Little Nas X. And what he was saying, I totally agree. I mean, you being gay, you being homosexual, whatever, that's fine, that's dandy. I mean, do what you do, but why is it like, why does it always got to be an extreme thing? Like, why you have to be on stage kissing men or groping men or men groping you? And it, all these things like that. And it just goes to show that we are living in a world where as though certain groups can do certain things where another particular group can't. A, a certain group can say certain things to another particular group but if that other group say anything back it'll be some type of consequence or retaliation and and that's what we, we get um here like <clears throat> Kwame he touched a bit on it and I touched a bit on it too in a few of my, my other videos whereas those like there's a a double standard there's like some type of hierarchy whereas though they put in the, you know, the LGBTQ community up one way and the rest of us, we're, we're all the way down here, you know, um, and it's not fair. And it's like, if you have an opinion, if you say it's wrong or you say that I don't want my children to see that or you should lead by example or be a better example, or then people will say, oh, you should... Uh, <laughs> what they say, you should pay the business that minds you. So, 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 some crap like that. They be trying to use these, these type of uh phrases and catchphrases and words. Like, come on, man. Like, really. <clears throat> uh, and it's all an agenda. Uh, like he said, like like they're pushing a narrative, and they're they're telling our young black boys to to be this. You know, it's not okay anymore to be a, a strong black man anymore. Like, we, we got to be this to get ahead in life, <clears throat> in the world we live in today. Um, I think so, Kwame thinks so, and a lot of other people think so too. Like, uh, why is it okay for uh, Little Nas X to be able to do this on stage, but yet it was a big thing when... Justin Timberlake had poured uh, Janet Jackson's boob out at the uh, the Super Bowl show, <clears throat> and they were mad at Janet Jackson. Uh, not Justin Timberlake; they were they were angry at her. <laughs> like, why is it okay for Little Nas X to do this? But back in like what ninety three, ninety four, R. Kelly doing his show on one of the words, and he pulled his pants down, showing like his uh his his boxes, and they all ran up on stage and everything like. Tripping, uh, some of y'all might be too young to remember that, but <laughs> like I was a young boy, but I still remember that. Cause I remember my mom and my aunt's and everybody was going crazy about it. And um, like that was inappropriate. It was controversy then, but this is okay. Like this is, this is ridiculous. Like, um, and a lot of people need to see uh, that it's inappropriate. You know what I'm saying? Like forget about the narratives, forget about the agendas, forget about all that stuff. Just think about the appropriation. Like, 
people are like, well, kids ain't supposed to watch this. Well, guess what? Kids do watch it. You were a kid. Weren't you, weren't you watching stuff that you weren't supposed to watch? All right, so so we're going to be real. And if y'all supposed to be uh, doing this stuff for the future and care about the children, then you will think about that stuff in your doings and, and, and realize that, well, children still going to watch stuff like that. And BT Awards is not really like one of those official adult type or censored type things where kids can watch it. I, I believe it beats correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought the BT was supposed to be like a, a family show. And if that's the case, then why are they showing this on a family show where potentially kids and old, older people and all that stuff watching it? You got all types of, you know, age brackets and demographics. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So, uh, so Kwame, he thinks that it was inappropriate. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers. They think um they had said choice words about it. This is my little two cents on it, my little rant. Um, <clears throat> and let me know what y'all think. Drop your comments down below. I'll be happy to build with y'all. We can go back and forth. As long as it's respectful, drop your comments down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.